Shin boxes are useful for a variety of positions with a variety of, variety of reasons, but we're going to start by actually getting everything to center. So get the sense that you're holding lightly something between your legs. And I want you to find that your feet are connecting with the ground. And then maybe even see if you can feel the connection with your heels. You're holding something between your thighs. You're sitting up tall. Now, if you have a tendency to dump into your low back, right? You don't have the ability to flex your hips deeply enough to get yourself tall and centered. Sit on something. That will take care of it. So we're engaging our knees together. We're sitting up tall. We're breathing. Your hands might reach out in front. Inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, very slowly, like you're pressing your knees through sand, start to press your knees out. Walk the balls of the feet together. And you're thinking, this isn't a 90-90 or a shin box. This is a stretch. I promise we'll get there. Press your feet towards each other. Lift your knees up as you inhale. As you exhale, reconnect with the feet. Really press your feet in towards each other. Very slowly drop your knees down. You're not looking for the deepest, most fullest expression of this. Inhale, lift your knees up. You're just exploring. Exhale, slowly press the knees down. The movement through the hips. Now from here, inhale, draw your knees back together. So again, your knees are touching. You're sitting up tall, you're rooted through your sit bones. Your hands can be either extended or down, whatever feels best for you. Breathe. Keep that sense that you're gently hugging in. You might even feel your two pelvic bones in the front, your ASIS, gently coming towards each other. And as you exhale, relax. Now from here, we'll come into that 90-90 position, I promise. So I want you to make sure, again, I have the dog, so I know you can't quite see, that your foot is flat. And when you do this, you want to make sure that the pinky side of the foot is pressing into the floor. So you're active in your feet. You'll take your right knee, mm, so it's fairly close to 90. If you can't get it there, not a big deal. Adjust as you need to. These types of things come with time. Your left knee will be again back at close to 90, left foot pressing towards the floor. Now, my hands are back here so that I can find a sense of center, find a sense of stability. My left sitting bone's off the ground. I'm going to work on this in a minute, but first, I'm going to lift up, I'm going to take my hands. My right hand is going to be around my outside of my right thigh. My left hand is going to be around the outside of my right foot. I'm just going to start pressing both knees down. And I'm going to breathe. I'm going to take two breaths here, just pressing both knees down, noticing where I feel restricted, noticing what's harder to press down. One more inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale very slowly. Turn your knees up. So we're giving our sacrum and our pelvis a break for a second. Keep your feet rooted. If you can, make sure your sits bones are level and even. My left one's lifting up because it was just lifting up in that position I was in. So I'm just going to adjust and try and get that down a little bit. Now, I'm going to exhale, draw my knees back down. Take my hands behind me. And I'll move into another version of this. So I'm going to start... My belly button's moving outward at about a 45 degree angle. So belly button's going this way. My leg's about 45 degree angle from that, I should say. I'm going to take my left hand, I'm going to spin my left hand down. I'm going to work my left knee back a little bit because that's scooched forward. Once I find a sense of stability, I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to take my right fingers down. So I'm spinning my hands. I'm going to start lifting the crown of my head towards the ceiling. Inhale through my nose. As I exhale out my mouth, I'm going to turn to the left. I'm not going to worry about what my right knee does. It's going to do what it's going to do. It's just there to keep me a little bit stable. My right leg is, I should say. I don't care if my right knee comes up. I'm going to inhale through my nose. I might press my left knee a little bit. And as I exhale out my mouth, I'm going to see if my left sit bone can start to come towards the floor. I'm going to inhale through my nose. I'm reaching out my fingers. I'm lifting through the crown of my head. I'm going to exhale. My left sitting bone will sink. I'm going to take two more breaths just like this. Inhale. Press my left knee a little bit maybe. Feel my length. Feel my reach. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. 
And I'm going to very gently, and you can stay there a while. So I got a little bit closer to the ground. Kind of very gently turn my torso towards the right foot. And then I will move my torso and my knees back up. So I'm back into this centered position. I'm rooted through my feet. I'm going to take my feet back together. I'm going to feel my sits bones. So now they feel a little more even. I'm going to hang out here and breathe. I'm going to make sure I'm squeezing my knees in towards each other. Taking one more inhale here. As I exhale, I'm going to separate my feet. Inhale tall. Exhale, I'm going to let my knees drop to the left this time. And same thing. I'm working myself so that the edge of my right foot is pressing into the mat and then my big toe is pressing into the mat. So you'll notice this is a little different setup than the, um, it's the same setup we did on the first side, but it's just a little bit different than the second version of the stretch, right? Because I'm gonna square myself eh, kind of close to belly buttons a little bit more forward than it is in the second version of the stretch. I'm gonna start pressing both knees down. I'm gonna take my right hand um, right around my right foot, or right around my left foot, and my left hand right around my, around my left knee. I'm going to inhale through my nose. As I exhale, I'm going to start generating force downward with my knees. I'm going to stay with this breathing pattern, observing where it's difficult for me to push, and trying to get the sense that both knees are equally pressing, and my left one's about to start shaking. Good. Now as I inhale, I'm with control. I'm gonna slow, oh sorry, Hunter. Slowly turn my knees back to center. Sitting up here, and again I'm just gonna observe if I what I notice in my sits bones. Again, they're feeling fairly level. I'm not as tight on this side, so that sort of makes sense. I'm rooting my feet, inhale through my nose. Exhale, my knees drop slowly again. This time the setup is a little different, so I'm still at 90-90, I've still got these flexed feet, but my belly button is headed more kind of between my legs. I'm going to feel, I mean, it's okay if my left knee comes up here, I don't care about that. This left leg is passive, this is more about the right leg. I'm going to gently take my right arm forward, I'm going to spin the heel of the palm so that it's up towards the ceiling, my fingers towards the floor, same with my left arm. I'm going to lift the crown of my head up. I'm going to reach the heels of my palms forward. I'm going to inhale through my nose. As I exhale out my mouth, I start turning to the right. And then as I inhale through my nose, I press that right knee down. And as I exhale, I see if I can sink that right sit bone towards the floor. Inhale through my nose. Press the right knee. Exhale. I'm going to take three more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, I'm still reaching, this is hard work. Inhale, press. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. And undo myself carefully. I'm gonna bring my knees back to center. I'm gonna find my sitting bones. I'm gonna use my hands to wrap myself around See if I can find myself a little forward in my sits bones. Rock back and forth for a second. And then I'm going to turn over into a hands and knees position. <laughs> Ideally with enough space that I can sit back in the child's pose. And I'm going to rest, rest my head back. I'm going to sit back, rest my head back. I'm going to take just a moment to breathe, and as I breathe, I'm going to let my breath move all the way down to my pelvis. I'm going to see if my sitting bones are sitting back evenly. I'm going to use my breath to allow my ribs to drop towards my feet. As I inhale, I'm going to come back up into a kneeling position, or seated, it doesn't have to be kneeling, this is just comfortable for me. I'm going to lift my arms, <laughs> let's see if there's any difference, there is for me. Lower them down, I'm going to do that just a couple more times. Again, just observing.
thank you so much for joining me. I hope that was useful. Again, you might not um, use all of it or you might use part of it. Play with it, see what works.